Okay, here we're going to start adding some more elements to the hut. And I'm going to start off by maybe creating kind of like a little bar top here. So um, I'm going to create another box. And this box is going to be merged in down here with everything else. Maybe I'll just put it over here. Actually, it's going to be a little hard to work with because I need to get information from over here. Um, so this box, I want to be able to place it on top of that. So what I'm going to do is get information from this node. Um, basically, I want to get um, whatever information is inside of here to be able to place it right on top. So uh, first thing is the height. So let's do a copy parameter and feed it into here. And the actually we need a transform node. Cool. So in this transform node, I'm gonna paste the relative reference here. And I am going to take that and uh, multiply it by two because we divided it by half for the other one because it was kind of halfway through the ground. But here we want to bring it all the way to the top. So that works out for us. And then here, this is the Z direction. Let's copy that information. So actually, let's just do, actually we can copy that channel because it's going to be directed from that other information there. So I'm gonna paste that there, except that I don't want it there. I want it in the transform node in the Z. There we go. Oops. Let's look at what we did here, and I accidentally put information there. So I just deleted the channel to reset that. Here we go. We have a little countertop there. Now we just need to adjust the size. So I know that the width, I always want it to be as wide as this is. So let's look at the uh, box over here and the size. This is what we want to copy and we are going to paste that here on the size for the X. So that gives us the correct um, Oops, I did that again. It's the channel, and that should be a one, not a zero. Uh, I keep on doing that, sorry guys. And this will be a one. There we go. So let's click into the scene and then shift. Uh, there we go. Um, and this is good. Maybe we don't want it to be. Um, kind of sticking through that. We just want it to be just inside of that. So what we can do is look at the tube and we have the radius. So I want these to be perfectly circular. So what I'm going to do is take this attribute and copy parameter and then paste relative reference there. So that will allow me to just change this one parameter and it will change both of them for us. So that's good. Um, and then what I'm going to want to do is copy that parameter. And here at the size, what I want to do is tell it to minus 
that parameter there. That doesn't look right. Let me get rid of that and make sure that I copied the right thing. So here I want to copy parameter. And on this channel, I'm just going to add to the expression. So um, I'm going to take away that times 2. Let's see what that does. No, that doesn't do what we want. So I don't know why it's not copying it there. We can um, do that manually if we needed to. So the name of the node that we need is tube one. Tube one. And then I want the radius. red one right here. That is the channel that we need. So I'm going to copy that and go here and then do a paste red one. And why is that not working? Let's see if I do that. There we go, that looks right, that looks right, and that looks right. But that doesn't look right. Let's look here. What's going on there? For some reason, that was deleted, so the scrubby red one. There we go. Okay, let's try that one more time. If not, I'll reset the video. Let's copy that parameter. Copy parameter. And over here, I want to take all of that and subtract and then here I can paste relative reference there we go that looks right and then close that and see what happens cool that works correctly so I just need to multiply this by 2 there we go that looks fine and then maybe on the height I'll just decrease this to 0.1 for the thickness and I like that that's the gonna be the little bar top that I have for this little um, tiki bar and then maybe now I want to consider the um, top here so I am going to um, create a little kind of roofing for it here and I'm going to create that with a, another box. And let's merge that way over here. And let's throw in a transform because we know we're going to need it. It's kind of getting a little crazy. I'm just going to push L to lay everything out to make it a little bit more kind of legible. 
and lay it out nicely. So I have that box way down at the bottom. I want to bring it all the way to the top of our scene here. So we can take the elements from the height. Um, let's copy that parameter. And in the transform, let's push that up. Paste relative reference. There we go. So that brings it up on top there. And I am going to feed in the information from the master column here. that I'm trying to feed all the information from so I need I know that I want it to be the um, width in the X direction so I'm going to copy that parameter here and go to this box and on the size in X I am going to paste relative reference and oops Let's delete channels and set that to one. There we go. Um, and then I just need to take this and multiply it by two. And maybe I want to add a little bit more so that it kind of has a little bit of a lip on the sides, and that looks good. Um, I'm going to take the size of the height and put that at 0 0.1 so that I kind of have a thin um, wall here. And then I am going to, in the transform, rotate this 45 degrees. So I'm going to take the rotate and the extraction 45. There we go. And then maybe on the boxes length here, this kind of two. And then I want to adjust the pivot to be wherever this information is on the master column. So let's go to the master column. Here. And I need the Z direction, so I'm going to copy that parameter. And let's take that to the transform and paste relative reference. Oops, I keep on pushing spacebar when I get out of that channel, and that's basically what's happening, why I keep on having these weird issues. Um, and this was actually 45 degrees, so we kind of created something like that. And here, obviously, we're going to want to push out a little bit more, so on the position Z, I'm just going to do like plus one, and that's going to be way too much, uh, plus point 0.1, and see if that's enough, that's going to be enough for us. There we go, so we're looking at this pretty well here.
I like that. And then I'm going to create a, actually let's take this uh, on the box a little bit longer. Let's make this maybe three units. There you go. I like that. And then I am going to uh, copy this transform node and paste it. And when I do that, I'm going to take this and rotate it negative 45 degrees. And that's going to kind of create the opposite direction. that there. That looks good. And then all I want to do now is um, take this and multiply it by negative one. So that's going to just shift it there. So I want to put all of this in parentheses and that will push it over to the other side and then here instead of adding one maybe not actually adding one is what we need um, I'm gonna end up putting kind of grass blades on this to cover that up anyways so that is fine so let's end this video here. Um, in future videos, we'll start kind of adding more detail to this and making it a little bit more believable, covering up some of these areas so that you don't see this, maybe adding kind of some support structures. And then, um, yeah. So thank you for staying tuned to the second video. And I look forward to seeing you in the third video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you later.